Sure, yeah. This is, uh, you know, we are obviously very, very excited about this investment because the company has unique capabilities. It's one of the very few companies uh, in the world that has the ability to turn bio waste into useful, uh, useful uh, uh, transportation fuel that can replace uh, fossil fuels. So this is uh, interesting, exciting. Uh, we think there is a lot of uh, bright future ahead of it. Currently, you know, we are investing in the business to help expand it. Uh, the company currently has approximately 300,000 tons uh, of annual production uh, capacity. Uh, we are investing to significantly expand it. Uh, we are building a new site in Malaysia uh, to, to double the capacity uh, with further expansion planned. And so this is, uh, we think uh, this is a business that can do, uh, that, that can be really, really helpful uh, in the global effort to, re to reduce carbon emissions. Right, and scaling up is, is really uh, what you plan to do. You want to turn this into a pan-Asian business. Malaysia is next. How much uh, dollar value then, uh, Jonathan, uh, can you share with us in terms of what you've earmarked here? And uh, how cost competitive is biorefining? Uh, versus uh, traditional refining. Yeah, um, <clears throat> we are. This is so we have uh, actually we are investing in two tranches uh, in this company. Uh, we've just closed the first tranche of four hundred million dollars, and there is another tranche uh, in uh, the similar uh, zip code. Uh, so that this is a a pretty significant commitment uh, in, in terms of uh, total capital uh, invested in a single company in Asia. Uh, the business, the industry today uh, still has higher cost. Um, the, the, if we go back and look at the petroleum industry, for example, you know, when the petroleum industry first started, there is a lot of need uh, to scale up. There is a lot of need to build up infrastructure. And over time, scaling and better infrastructure allows cost to go down. Uh, today, the biorefining products are still meaningfully more expensive than petroleum-based products. But our expectation is, as we and others continue to invest in developing the technology, building up uh, infrastructure, and scaling up our operations, costs will become more competitive. And this has happened in other renewable energy fields as well. Look at wind, look at uh, uh, solar. Uh, we have, uh, we've been following the same trajectory.